Hello, hello everybody. Um, we're just going to start in about a minute's time, let a few more people join in and hopefully we can crack on. There we go. Well, it's four o'clock and time to join me for the Doodle workshop. Um, my name's Debbie. Um, I've been doing these workshops for quite some time. I usually link it to stress management, but today, and um, probably for these, we'll just do the doodling. So um, if you want to know more about me, go to my website. There's the link on one of the intros for this workshop. And these workshops last about 20 to 30 minutes. All you need is a a paper. If you've got a card, pencil and an eraser, that would be great. Um, we'll learn one doodle each day and then on a Friday we will um, put it together and make a, uh, a word up or a name or we can do animals or we can do some design that might be um, a little bit different. Um, as you can see here, I've done an elephant. Um, so first I'm going to do a little disclaimer. Because um, you're there and I'm here, and I'm not responsible for anyone over wiggling, um, hand aches um, for too much um, doodling. Um, I'm not responsible if you doodle on the furniture or your parents while they're sleeping, and or for sticking pens where they shouldn't go. So um, I'll just set that off. But the main idea is just to have some fun. Um, I've also modelled this on Sheldon's Fun with Flags because I've never done one before. So um, as you can see, I have the white ball just like Sheldon. So hopefully it will be just as fun as Fun with Flags. So shall we start? Shall we start? So first I want you to roll out your shoulders so we can get those muscles. And now we get our fingers wiggling. We'll stretch and take some deep breaths. Okay, no rolling of the eyes. Okay, and when we think we're done, we're gonna start. So, when we think of doodling, we think of colors, okay? So when we use a doodle, that doodle will be a color. So, like you would color something red, we would do a certain pattern. So in future, when we talk about doodles, think of it as a paint palette. So, um, it'd be helpful if you store your doodles on a piece of paper. And as you can see here, I have an A4 piece of paper, which I've folded in half, folded in half again, and then folded in half again. And then in each square or rectangle here, we will do one doodle. If you haven't got an A4 piece of paper, but you have a notepad, you can do the same, just mark up the notepad with boxes. It doesn't matter if it's lined, but we can do the doodles on there, okay? So, if we get started, I think today we can uh, doodle, uh, today's doodle will be circles. So of, um, a little bit of fun. As you saw, I used the bubble words to put my name in. So what we could do is um, do the letter L, and we'll do a bubble word and we'll colour that in today and then we can be, build the word, word love, which I think the world needs a bit more of at the moment. So um, if we start to turn the L into a big bubble and this will be what we colour in, okay? So just to give you an idea. And like I say, I've never done this live before um, online, so please bear with me and if we get a bit confused or you don't understand just send me a message and we will move on from there so if your fingers are ready what we'll do is so on your first square and here's my square we're going to do circles okay simple circles so my doodle will be circles now you can do circles in any different way you can do them in lines. OK, 
Okay, you can do them off center. You can do them different sizes. But the idea is you fill up your doodle box with circles. That's not a difficult doodle, is it? I don't know if I've got any on my t-shirt today. No, I haven't got circles. Ah, never mind. So, on your piece of paper or in your notebook, okay? So if you've got your notebook like this, okay, circles. And then in your doodle, you just do your circles, okay? And if you're working on paper, then obviously the same again. You'll mark off your doodle and you'll just do lots of circles on your paper. If you want, you can give it a title, circles, okay? You see that? So, that looks back to it. Interesting. So, we'll continue with our circles. So, I think I might do some different ones, some big ones, and some little ones. You can colour in the background if you wanted to and make the circles stand out. Now this takes a lot of time, but it's quite effective. 101 things to do with the circle. Don't know if anyone's watching me. Hello, anybody there? It'd be interesting if nobody's there and I'm talking to myself. But hey ho. So we're seven minutes in already. Hopefully there's been no disasters. Hope you're staying calm and drinking lots of water. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake because it's your doodle, so it can look exactly like you want it to look. You could put little dots in some of them. Looks like bacteria now, doesn't it? Uh, what do you think? Is that doodle coming on now? And that's just one. So there's so many different things you can do with it. You can sometimes do make them into donuts. Have the odd donut in there too. There you go. What do you think? A few donuts. Do some more circles. Okay. How are you getting on? Anybody? You all right there? So, have you filled your piece of paper yet? Have you coloured in the back? Are you colouring in the back like that? I know someone who sometimes uses different colours. So they'll have all different colours all over the place. But as you can see, I like black and white. I've never done a video like this. I've, I've given this workshop many times, but never to nobody <laughs> that I can't see so it's very strange it's very strange indeed so I hope you'll bear with me this is my first one and I do hope they'll be a little bit perhaps more interesting for you as you get more ideas what do we think do we think that's okay do you got the idea for that I quite like the donut ones they're making me hungry fancy a donut now here we go, do some more circles. So today is all about circles. Circles. Nearly filled up mine, how about you? Should we do a big one here? Fill it up quicker. It's very calming. You only need a pencil and a pen and you can take it wherever you go. That looks like an egg. So you can pick this up and do it for five minutes, ten minutes. Right. So that's my circles. And what I'll do is I'll do the letter L here. 
and we'll start filling in the letter, okay? So, on a nice piece of paper, you need to, I just take this back, so we've got a bit more space, okay? You need to write L, because we're going to do the word love, O, B, E. Now, that doesn't look quite, it looks a bit squished, doesn't it? So if you're not very good at judging how to fit it in, here's another way. We know love has four letters, doesn't it? L-O-V-E. If we start in the centre and do the V, E, makes it easier to fit in. Another way to do it is to actually write in pencil the L and the O, okay, and then go round it to fit it in, like that. And then rub the pencil, okay, and then you it fits in. Okay, so that's two some different ways how to do a word in that bubble way. Okay, so we're going to do the L today, and we're going to do circles. So off we go. Now I want to do lots of different circles, um, but I'm not going to put dots in. I'm just going to do different sizes. I think. Okay, we're just going to do the word love today, but we are just, for today, we're going to do the letter L. Tomorrow, we will do a different doodle and we'll complete the letter O. Okay, so here we go. And I like to colour it in because I like the little circles to stand out like that. How are you getting on? Yeah? Okay. And we've got about another five minutes. So thank you for joining me. They are just little workshops. And if you've got any, any um, doodles you think might be good, because everywhere there's a pattern, you can look for patterns everywhere. There's patterns on carpets, there's patterns on shirts, there's patterns all over the house. There's even brickwork patterns. If you've got brickwork on a house, that's a pattern too. So have a look around and see if you can see any patterns. And if you want to send them to me, we could perhaps use them one day. Okay, so just send them to me on Facebook Messenger. If, you, if you've got a pattern that you like, that you've made up or you've seen, just send me a picture of it and we'll include it, if I can, on one of my doodle lessons. So they're everywhere. Um, don't forget, roll out those shoulders, stretch them out, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, because we don't want them to feel left out. Don't forget to drink water, but don't do it all at once, it will get a bit messy. And, um, and do the next letter in the word love. In the meantime, if you want to do anything else, you can carry on. You could do the rest of the letter, the rest of the words, if you wanted to. You could do a different color, circles. That could look quite good, couldn't it? Don't forget, it's your doodles, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to copy me, I'm just giving you the idea. All right? Colour it in. What do you think? Is that quite... It's all right, doesn't it? Looks a bit interesting. I don't know if I've got another whiteboard. I think I've got another whiteboard colour. Black here, I think. So we could do this one a totally different colour. I'll probably find out this is indelible and I'll have to spend ages getting this one off. I think we'll be okay though. Look at that. We got all you need is love. 
I might finish this and put it up on the Facebook page for everyone to see. And then you'll have to tell me what you think. Anyway. Are you filling in the gaps? Are you turning it into bacteria? Is there anything else we could do to circles to make them more interesting? I've got a few ideas, but if you've got any, you let me know. I'm sure everyone's got some ideas. It'd be great if you could share them with me. It still feels very weird I'm talking to myself. Actually, I know I'm talking to you, but it does feel a bit weird. This is my first time, and I hope Sheldon, if ever he saw this, would be very pleased and approval of it all. So, and then if you colour it in, look how they stand out. So they actually look like people in a football ground, don't they? All lined up on the terraces. I think there's an artist that did that. I might have to look him up now. Or her, could be a her. I know someone used to do football grounds and the terraces with all the people looking at the football looked similar to that. Because it does look like lots of people looking, doesn't it? Anyway, thank you again for watching. I do hope you've at least learn one doodle today and we will build it up it's just that um, it takes time and this is your paint palette as you can see and um, I just hope you had fun and you'll join join me again one day uh, so same time tomorrow same place